And welcome back to Time Travelers. My name is Growing Up, and today we are going on a journey through the darker side of history. Join me as we explore the stories of ten women who have earned infamous reputations for their chilling deeds. From royal palaces to concentration camps, we'll uncover the lives and crimes of these notorious women separating fact from fiction and analyzing the historical context that shaped their destinies. Get ready for a deep dive into the annals of history where we'll encounter tales of cruelty, ambition, and the darkest corners of the human heart. We'll delve into the life of Elizabeth Bathory, the Blood Countess, known for her alleged sadistic crimes. Discover the political machinations of Cleopatra and the ruthless reign of Mary I of England, also known as Bloody Mary. Learn about Irma Grease, the notorious Nazi concentration camp guard, and Griselda Blanco, the fearsome drug lord. Uncover the dark legacies of Catherine de' Medici, the Black Queen, and Myra Hindley, the Moor's murderer. Explore the reign of Wu Zetian, the only female emperor of China, and the horrifying acts of Delphine Laloy. Finally, we'll look into the lives of Bonnie Parker, the infamous outlaw, and Aileen Warnos, the serial killer. These women have left indelible marks on history, and their stories are as fascinating as they are terrifying. Our journey begins in the late 16th century with Elizabeth Bathory of Hungary. Known as the Blood Countess, she is often cited as the most prolific female serial killer in history. Elizabeth was born into a noble family in 1560 and married Ferenc Nadasti, a Hungarian nobleman. She was accused of torturing and killing hundreds of young girls, with some estimates reaching as high as 650 victims. Legend has it that she bathed in the blood of virgin girls to maintain her youthful beauty. In 1610, she was arrested and tried for her crimes, ultimately being confined to her castle until her death in 1614. Her story has left a lasting impact on history, inspiring countless books, films and folklore. We'll delve into the historical evidence and examine the context of her life to understand the woman behind the macabre legend. Next, we travel to 19th century New Orleans, where Delphine Lalori, a prominent socialite, rose to infamy. Known for her lavish parties and opulent lifestyle, she hid a dark secret within the walls of her mansion. The discovery of a hidden torture chamber revealed the horrifying extent of her cruelty towards her slaves. She subjected them to unspeakable acts of torture and brutality. We'll explore the events that led to her downfall, including the public outrage that ensued and the legacy of her gruesome crimes that continues to haunt New Orleans today. Our journey takes us to the darkest chapter of the 20th century, the Holocaust. Irma Grace, a young SS guard at the Nazi concentration camps of Ravensbrück, Auschwitz and Bergen-Belsen, became known as the Beast of Belsen for her sadistic treatment of prisoners. She was notorious for her brutal beatings, arbitrary shootings and the use of her trained dogs to attack inmates. Grace's role included selecting prisoners for the gas chambers, a task she performed with chilling indifference. Her cruelty knew no bounds, as she often tortured prisoners for her own amusement. What led this young woman to participate in such unimaginable cruelty? We'll examine her life, her actions, and the chilling reality of the concentration camps. Greece was eventually captured and tried for her war crimes, where her lack of remorse shocked the world. Her story serves as a grim reminder of the depths of human cruelty and the horrors of the Holocaust. Ilse Koch, born in Dresden, Germany in 1906, was the wife of Karl Otto Koch, the commandant of Buchenwald concentration camp. She earned the chilling moniker the Witch of Buchenwald due to her notorious actions during World War II. Koch is accused of selecting prisoners with distinctive tattoos to be killed, so their skin could be made into gruesome souvenirs, including lampshades and book covers. Her sadistic behavior and the horrific artifacts found at Buchenwald cemented her infamy. After the war, Koch was tried and convicted for her crimes, receiving a life sentence. We'll navigate the disturbing accusations against Ilse Koch, separating myth from reality and exploring the extent of her involvement in the horrors of Buchenwald, as well as the legacy of terror she left behind. Our journey takes a sharp turn to Australia as we delve into the disturbing case of Catherine Knight. Known as the Black Widow of Aberdeen, 
Knight gained notoriety for the brutal murder of her partner, John Price. Born into a troubled family, Knight's early life was marked by violence and instability. She had a history of abusive relationships and violent behavior which escalated over time. The murder of John Price was particularly gruesome, involving premeditation and extreme brutality. The impact on the community was profound, leaving residents in shock and fear. We'll explore the events leading up to this shocking crime, the investigation and the trial that resulted in Knight becoming the first Australian woman sentenced to life imprisonment without parole. Next, we investigate the mysterious case of Belle Gunness, an American serial killer who terrorized Indiana in the early 20th century. Known as Lady Bluebeard, she lured men to her farm with promises of marriage only to murder them for their money. Belle Gunness was born in Norway in 1859 and immigrated to the United States in 1881. She settled in Chicago, where she married and had children. After her first husband's mysterious death, she collected a large insurance payout and moved to a farm in Laporte, Indiana. On her farm, she continued her deadly schemes, placing ads in newspapers to attract wealthy suitors. Many men responded only to disappear without a trace. It's believed she killed over 40 people, including her own children. We'll examine the evidence, the unanswered questions, and the enduring mystery surrounding Belle Gunness and her alleged victims. Our journey takes us to the island of Madagascar, where Queen Rana Valona I rose to power in the early 19th century. She seized the throne after the death of her husband, King Radama I, and ruled with an iron fist. Her reign was marked by extreme brutality, paranoia, and numerous atrocities, including mass executions and forced labor. The high mortality rate among her people and her isolationist policies had a profound impact on Madagascar's history. Now let's delve deeper and explore the complex historical context of Rana Valona's rule, her motivations, and the lasting impact of her policies on Madagascar. Our journey returns to England as we delve into the chilling case of Myra Hindley. With her partner, Ian Brady, she carried out the Moors murders in the 1960s, abducting, torturing, and murdering five children. Hindley, born in 1942, had a troubled childhood that led her down a dark path. She met Brady in 1961 and their relationship quickly turned sinister. Together they meticulously planned and executed their heinous crimes, leaving a trail of devastation. The impact on the victims' families and society was profound, with the nation gripped by fear and outrage. We'll explore the details of these horrific crimes, the investigation and the trial that shocked the nation. We travel to Colombia to explore the life of Griselda Blanca, a notorious drug lord who played a key role in the Medellin cartel during the height of the cocaine trade. Known as the Black Widow, she was ruthless, ambitious and responsible for countless murders. Blanco's involvement in the drug trade was extensive orchestrating large-scale cocaine shipments to the United States. She was implicated in over 200 murders, including rival drug traffickers and even her own associates. Her reign of terror left a significant impact on the criminal underworld, instilling fear and respect among her peers. We'll delve into the dangerous world of drug trafficking, Blanco's rise to power, and the events that led to her violent downfall, marking the end of an era in the cocaine trade. Our journey takes us to Victorian England to uncover the chilling story of Mary Ann Cotton. Born in 1832, Mary Ann Cotton is believed to be England's first recognized serial killer. She poisoned her victims with arsenic, including three of her husbands and several of her children. Growing up in a poor mining community, her early life was marked by hardship. She married multiple times, each marriage ending in the mysterious deaths of her spouses. We'll explore the methods she used, the investigation that exposed her crimes, and the social context that allowed her to operate undetected for so long. Her trial and eventual execution in 1873 marked the end of her deadly spree. Well, there you have it, folks, the history of the top 10 evil women in history. From medieval castles to modern courtrooms, we've journeyed through the darker side of human nature, exploring the lives and crimes of these infamous women. Remember, history is not just a collection of facts and dates, it's a tapestry woven with the complexities of human experience. 
These stories, though dark, offer us valuable lessons. They remind us of the consequences of unchecked power and the importance of justice. By reflecting on their histories, we can better understand our own. For more time-traveling history, like, share and subscribe. Until next time, keep traveling through time 